So if you haven't already heard, OpenAI just released GPT 4.0, and here's why it's interesting. I think it is the next big step in AI after Devon AI. And in this short video, I'll take you through all the features it has and why it matters and why it is so cool. It is supposed to be a free model that is faster than GPT 4.0 and has more features. First of all, the O in GPT 4.0 stands for Omni. and apparently is supposed to show that it is a more user friendly model and that's because this time instead of making a bigger model increasing the parameters or focusing on benchmarks open ai has instead focused on user friendliness they have added features like emotions and better interactions so that anyone can take advantage of this model no matter how little you know about tech i think in order to get a better product they have implemented something that sam altman previously mentioned he said instead of trying to make bigger and bigger models focus on other aspects of the model which will eventually make it better so one of the most highlighted features in the demo yesterday was emotions gpt 4o can literally portray and understand emotions No, 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 ChatGPT. I really want maximal emotion, like maximal expressiveness, much more than you were doing before. Understood. Let's amplify the drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. Byte so was. Can you do this in a robotic voice now? Initiating dramatic robotic voice. Once upon a time. That of course is really helpful for anyone trying to interact with it. It also now has a feature to look at something and tell you exactly what you're looking at. It's kind of like the feature we were promised with Gemini, but it's not a scam. OpenAI has also announced a desktop app, and this is really interesting. The desktop app will let you screen share to ChatGPT and ChatGPT can actually look at your screen and explain to you what you're looking at. So this could be helpful for coders and what I would be expecting to see is people that are not that tech savvy getting help from GPT-4 to actually understand what's happening on the screen. I think this is going to play a big role in the advent of AI. not just by being a better model but by being user friendly and making ai appealing to a larger sum of people what do you think about this let me know in the comments below